Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. And welcome back. That's right, we're still doing it. Despite what all the haters have said. I don't I don't actually know I'm recording these right after another. But alright, here, here's our party. We've got Uther. He's a lord. Uh, he's a tanky boy. Look at that defense. Look at him go. Uh, he's got a claymore, which is a uh, classic rapier type stuff. Super effective against horses and armor. And armor horses. But it's a heavy boy. And Uther's kind of a slow boy. So we're not going to see him be a fast lin like person. He does have a unique skill in guts. Uh, his... <laughs> some of his... his Strength, skill, and luck get higher the lower HP he has. Uh, I don't know if it's a it's a percentage thing or if it's a flat amount thing, but uh, that's that's his his gym jam. We got a Harkin. He's a drifter. He's a very strong boy. He will be a tanky boy, less to his defense and more to his massive hit point stat. Um, he is the trainee version of a mercenary, so uh, trainee version of one of these boys. Uh, then we got Marcus, classic Marcus, in his third Fire Emblem game. Uh, but here he is as a recruit instead of a paladin. Marcus is pretty well-rounded. He is sort of a... I guess he becomes he becomes like a tanky horse boy, basically. Uh, sometimes the speed doesn't really get up to where you want it to be, but speed is... It's important, but it's less like less of a dominant force in this game as it is in other games. And you'll see why as we play. And we got Isadora. Isadora is very fast, uh, gets very high resistance and luck, and absolute garbage strength and defense. Uh, it's not absolute garbage. Since she starts as a level 1 trainee, she's got a lot of levels to RNG into better stats. But it doesn't always happen. But there's there's ways of getting around it, and uh, we're, we're gonna see. Uh, I'm not... I want to use Marcus, because uh, he, he's a Lance boy. And we're kind of... We don't get a huge amount of, of tanky lance boys uh, in in this route. <sighs> what does he mean by this route? I guess we'll have to wait and see. And we get plenty of swords amongst uh, Harkin, Isadora, and Uther. Um, I might just use Harkin and not Isadora. Uh, I should use Isadora because she's cute as hell. I'm going to use Harkin. No, I'm going to use Isadora and Marcus and obviously Uther. Got to use Uther. Uh, so... <laughs> How, how are we gonna do this? Uh, first thing, quality of life improvements. They're everywhere in this game, and it's so fucking awesome. One is you can see people you can talk to just by selecting people that can talk. You can see the little boop boop, little exclamation point. Let's us know we can have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Sir. Hey again, fellow. What's that accent? Western, sir. No wonder you're so quick to join the fight. It's barely perceptible. How long have you been in Lycia? Now is hardly the time for such a conversation, sir. I guess. Let's rough up these bastards, then. That you're ready. So, Harkin's running from something. Wow. What a mysterious boy. Uh, let's... Another thing is, you can see, like, the, uh... The tile have a different color. Unfortunately, I think it's kind of hard to perceive, uh... Because there's the blue for places we can go, red for places we can attack, and then there's this yellow that blends in very well with the surrounding area of this house. Uh, I wish that was a slightly different color, just for my eyeballs. It would be nice to see it with my eyeballs in a more better -er way. But let's visit this house. It doesn't have a red roof, Tim Friend. Why would we visit the house when no item gets? Well, here to tell you something. Uh, one of the foremost rules of combat, fight on your own terms. Try to lure your opponents into a position that's advantageous for you, but detrimental to them. That's what I think anyway. Don't forget the weapon triangle. Swords beat axes, would be lances, which in turn beat swords. Anticipate which weapon, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you get experience for going to houses. It's just a little bit, but uh, you're effectively leaving it on the table if you don't get it. Anyway, he was talking about the weapon triangle. That's very important in this game. Uh, in other Fire Emblem games you might have seen played, or played, or seen me played, uh, the weapon triangle is important, but by the end of the game, it just sort of becomes something you steamroll over anyway, because your, your stats will be so much higher than the opponent's. Uh, but the weapon triangle is, is, is fucking cranked in this game. Uh, there's a, a massive accuracy penalty uh, going in at disadvantage, and a massive accuracy bonus going in at advantage. Uh, furthermore, uh, if you have like one of the one of the breaker weapons, or uh, reaver weapons, that's what they're called. Like a lance reaver or axe reaver or sword reaver, etc. Uh, 
then that weapon triangle of bonus slash detriment is increased even further, which makes Lance Reavers and the like very, very powerful against things with lances and incredibly vulnerable against people with axes. Even further than that, uh, bows uh, take a, take a, take a part, take part in the weapon triangle as well in this game, uh, unlike Fire Emblem 7 and 6, uh, where bows have weapon triangle advantage if they are at range and disadvantaged against everything in melee range, which is crazy. It makes uh, archers good against everything at range and then super weak when they are engaged. That's, it's very cool. We'll, we'll get to see more of it as we play. Uh, Is uh, Isadora! You can see Isadora, even with Weapon Triangle Disadvantage, uh, she's still super accurate. Uh, it also helps that you can see that some of these guys are kind of kind of bubbling. Well, that's because they've been drinking uh, the bubbly and that they are drunk. Uh, they have the stat, or the status drunk. Where is it? There you are. Status drunk. Uh, it reduces their speed, skill, and vision, but... I mean, whatever. They also can't rescue or visit, which is very funny <laughs> to think about. You're like, ah, shit. Well, give me an item. All right, what are we, what are we gonna do? Uh, Isadora is gonna get crazy experience. Uh, oh, we gave it to to Uther. Kind of want to give it to Isadora. She'll be fast enough, even with the extra weight of the Iron Sword, that she'll be able to kill these these MFers. Um. We're gonna crank Isadora for a little bit, because Marcus Marcus is gonna be almost on his own in the next map that he's in anyway. So we we wanna wanna dump some of that XP into the Dira. Give him a swing. I love this animation for the squire though. It's very good. It's very good. Fortunately now Isadora is super weakened. But I think she'll be okay. Attack 13, attack 12. I mean, her defense is like three, but uh, I don't. I only expect one of them to hit at most, so I, I think we'll be okay. If not, we'll get to have the first fucking restart of this game because I'm not doing a fucking Iron Man. Woo! Spicy, spicy, spicy stuff. I think the next guy will do eight because I think this was the 13 attack guy. <gasps> yeah. See. <laughs> Uh, all the trainees have lower growth rates than uh, than maybe you would want, um, but uh, they've they've got many more levels in which to get points, and uh, it's the game is balanced in such a way that you don't need everyone to get perfect levels in order to do well. You just you still you're gonna need even if you get amazing levels on your people, you're still gonna need multiple people to fight things because the HP stats for many of the opponents and you are increased. Uh, yeah, give me a fuck, give me the thing. Give it, give it, give it to me. Give me a bronze sword. Hooray. Um, yeah, this guy's got 23 health, 20 health. You're, we're not seeing it now. Uh, but as we play through the game, the HP stats of the enemies will go through the roof. Uh, and it, it will make it so that, uh, basically it will be, it's very hard in this game for various reasons. To use one character and just juggernaut through the entire game. It's very difficult to do that. Uh, should I... I don't want Harkin to take any experience because I'm not using Harkin. So I'm gonna have Uther get Bronze Sword and have Marcus come back. Marcus can chill actually. Yeah, he's good where he is. So that Harkin cannot get experience when Uther can get the experience instead. I like Uther's animations a lot. It, it, he feels very satisfying to hit people with his big dang sword. I like it. I like it very much. Alright, uh, can we get Uther on the other side? If we do Uther on the other side, then the mercenary will come and hit him, and that's that's okay with me. Uh, we can have Uther come here and give him a stab. The guy hits him for a very weak. Uh, as I mentioned before, Uther is a very tanky boy. Uh, but he could, he'll kind of drop, like, almost all the time, Uther kind of drops off for me. He's just, I don't know, he, his speed and strength, uh, are always, always bad for me. I don't know what it is. His defense is always fine, his HP gets massive, but 
Uh, when looking at stats, there's a quality of life improvement. Uh, you can see how the colors of the stat names are slightly different. Uh, as your as your people level up and they gain or don't gain stats, uh, it shows sort of how how off from the average your characters are uh, via the different colors. The stats will get more red if they are below lower the lower than average they are. If that makes sense, and they will turn green if they get higher than average. And it's very nice. It's very nice to see. Does this mercenary do anything? Not important. Uh, let's give a vulnerary to Marancus. Because I don't want anything scary to happen to him. Because we are still using him, even if it looks like we're mostly using his door. Which, I mean, we are. We gotta, gotta get her something. We're gonna throw her to the wolves in the next one. Throw her to the wolves. With, uh, with our speed growth not being incredible, and the enemy speed growth being, I mean, higher than Fire Emblem 7's, where they were, like, miserable, uh, this game has a lot more emphasis on needing multiple people to fight an enemy at once in order to kill it. So it's it's more strategic rather than, or more tactical, I should say, uh, than simply being like, well, here's my fucking roided up Pegasus Knight. I'm gonna throw them in this direction, and they can fight everything by themselves. It's more like, well, shit. There's some fucking some big problems over there. There's like a Zambato or a a Lance Reaver over here, so I'm gonna need something that'll be able to withstand that. Uh, but there's also a mage and shit like that, and they're all strong enough to pose a threat. All the enemies, I mean, other than this this uh, this prologue, many of the enemies are strong enough to threaten a lot of your dudes. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck. Well, let's absorb that with the Hraken. Cause I don't want Isadora to get stabbed. Because she's very low HP. Can't... Is, you can still get hit by Weapon Triangle, even if you have no weapons equipped, it turns out. So I, I don't think that was in the original game, and I think it's just everything has advantage against people without any weapons equipped. So... Now that's... a level. Marcus. Welcome to the team. You were already on the team, but... Welcome to it. You're certainly welcome to it. Alright, we'll get up and... If we do 8 damage to him, and 9 damage to him, then we will kill the boy. Nice. If we hit with both attacks. Ugh, this is, uh... Odds are not super in my favor. Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, it's about what I expected. That's about what was average. If I use Marcus to hit, can I use Isadora to kill? Yeah. Isadora's... Sun's getting real low on uh, Isadora's HP. That's okay. We got got two beefy boys ready to absorb all these drunk ass mercenaries, and a fine job they will do. We're going to stab this boy with a little a little stab. Yeah, a gotti. That's our third level on Isadora. Maybe she'll get strength. Hey. hey! Now that's a fucking level! Yeah, watch Marcus. Watch Marcus do his shit. Get some get some Marcus levels. These mercenaries aren't drunk. How frightening. But look at their stats. They're miserable. Alright. Maybe we shouldn't have been afraid. Uh let's, let's grab 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 this from you and heal with it in case I need to meet shield next turn. And next time on Tim Friend, uh we'll finish up the prologue. Hooray! Maybe we'll do it instead of me just yammering about game mechanics or some shit. Alright, bye everybody.